Today, I'm going to show you how to make your own mobile phone case using a hot glue gun. Start by taking some baking paper and cut yourself off a strip. Then turn your phone off, place it on the paper and use your scissors to cut around it so it's the right size to wrap around your phone. Turn your phone on its back, fold the paper over and hold it in place with a strip of tape. You need to completely wrap the phone up, but you'll probably find the tape doesn't stick to the paper all that well, so you'll need to use quite a bit. But try not to wrap the tape around the edge of the phone, otherwise it might stick to the glue. Try to make the corners as neat as possible and a tight fit around the cover. Next, use a pencil to draw around the camera, the light, the speaker, the power button, the charger point, the volume control and the headphone socket, if you still have one. Then place the phone on some more baking paper, hold it in place and use your glue gun to squirt a bead of glue all the way around the bottom edge, like this. Next, draw around your buttons and power socket and start working on your design on the back, remembering not to cover over the areas you marked. For this one, I'm doing a basic set of horizontal lines followed by a set of vertical lines. Then I'm filling in a few squares with the hot glue to make a bit of a patchwork effect. When you're done, leave it to cool down for 10 minutes. Then peel off the baking paper and remove the phone. You can tidy up any edges with a pair of scissors. Then clip your phone back in. And a pair of tweezers works really well to clean up any stringy bits. And that's our cover finished. It's pretty cool, but it is a bit messy as it was my first attempt, so I wanted to try again, but this time I'm using glitter glue sticks to give it all some colour. They work in exactly the same way, but before you start using them, you'll have to push the remaining clear glue out first before the glitter starts coming through. So with your phone wrapped up and marked again, you can start in exactly the same way. For this one, I'm doing a swirly line pattern effect. So I'm drawing around the light, camera and speaker and working my way down the entire phone. Remember to go around the buttons and keep joining parts up together to make it nice and strong. I really like the gold colour and it's actually really fun to do. When you've finished, leave it to dry for 10 minutes and pop out the phone. Here you can see it's actually stuck a little to the tape, so carefully peel it off. And that's our case complete. Pretty cool, huh? Tidy up any edges with scissors again. and remove any stringy bits. 
and it's ready to use. It looks great and it's far neater than the first one I made. It gives a really nice golden sparkle in the light and you can still use all your functions and buttons. I decided to make one more using three different colours. So I started with a red glitter stick. When that ran out I swapped it for a silver which takes a little while to come through but then starts mixing together and finished off with gold. You can be as creative as you want and try sticking things on if you like as well. This one's quite good because it's a complete shell, so it offers your phone lots of protection. And you can stick on or make whatever design you like. If you're going to try this, please remember glue guns do get very hot, so do be careful not to burn yourself. There's lots of people who have been trying this online and I haven't heard of anyone damaging their phone, but if you do try this, you do so at your own risk. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you want to see more, you can click on the links on the right hand side or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.